Bitch of Friday. The freshest. <laughs> Okay, so now we got EXO and this is Drop That, Keep On Dancing, Lucky, plus Run on Japan Tokyo Dome. Are you alright? <laughs> ah, yeah. I am. <laughs> it's, it's like a little octopus as well. Is the snake strangling no, your octopus. finger? It's an octopus. And it's an octopus run. Let's give it this a watch. <laughs> we watched, we had an EXO special actually a, while, a little while ago, and the, I think this might have been one of the performances that we couldn't check out because we were still like uh, learning. What the fuck we can check out and not. So <laughs> let's check this out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lay is in there. Oh, are you Lay is so cool. I don't know. Maybe 2015. Woo! Oh, the outfits are sick. Oh, alright, Kai. Such a big fan of that guy, Chanio, man. I rap <laughs> They are such a vibe, bro. This is so calm my collection. Okay, let's have a moment for the fact this that they were jumping performance. around, running around like mad, and they just like out of nowhere, perfect, flawless vocal. Yeah, but that's why, that's also one of the points, right? Like, I mean, it does go with Dio's personality, the fact that he wouldn't just do like a, a 360 jump. Mm. But it, it's it's actually technically very aware, and, and because he he's the, the the interesting one is Beckham because he's fucking nuts. Yeah, you know I he's agree. crazy. So the fact that he was jumping around and he has a jacket on and stuff, jumping up and down, and then he pulls up the biggest, uh, uh, most difficult uh, climax of the song, so that's far, crazy. Yeah. So so uh, of that piece, because yeah. now I think they've moved on. They've moved on right to yeah, uh, keep on just, dancing. Yeah. I don't know, because it's like seven songs or whatever it is. This is just crazy, though. Like, just think about freaking energy-wise, like, exertion. Like, this is just... My... They're boiling. <laughs> I, I have so many questions. How are they... Is this even possible? And you know what? <laughs> I am about to pay all that money <laughs> <laughs> just to be in one of those concerts. They are cool. Yeah, the energy is amazing. As though. a hill. Oh, my I've God. I've heard that song. Draw, Me neither. Draw. Don't go on. Jump, it's... Oh, same, bro. Yeah, it lays on my as well. That's sick. Well, he has the biggest hands, so it would be so easy for him. Oh, it's a good guitarist. Woohoohoo! Exordium, is that what it says? Yeah, but this is, this is just next this. level shit. This is freaking wild. Yeah, give him give him a time, give him a break. Jesus Christ. Oh, this is mad. Oh my god, I can feel the energy. They were awesome. Next level, man. Piss off, pause. I mean, you have no, to hide that. you are on a... You must be on some other level. Production-wise, this is absolutely nuts. Can we have a moment for the light technicians, the sound technicians, yeah, the be. people that are running crazy at that moment? Because... Wow. I think that might be one of the best uh, concert pieces I think I've seen in a while. Well, like... the last one that blew me away was Exos El Dorado. They had this wild light show that I was like, freaking guacamole, still right. raining. I think the last one that blew me away, like recently, 
was a Chinese, is it the Devil May Cry, uh, whatever yeah, it was? Devil. The Devil, yeah. do you remember that photo? Where yeah. they like, uh, it's like it was all red, shiny, when we did it's it. Like la- lasers and yeah, stuff. No, yeah, that shit was crazy. No, especially because what they were doing vocally, plus the dance. Yeah, but th- yeah, that, and that then was... the behind the scenes stuff, like that's their fashion, That's that really marked me. Like, that was special. Um, but obviously it's SM as well, right? Like, and, and they both, they, it seems like SM really has a grasp on, on timing sets and timing because they have such talented vocalists, mm-hmm. but they also have some of the best dancers in the industry. Yeah, yeah. So it's really interesting. Like the, the timing here, they allowed them three minutes to recover. Yes. Right. So it, it was four minutes of hell. <laughs> yeah. You know, and then it was three minutes of recovery. Yeah. Right. Active recovery. It wasn't just, they were just standing. There was active recovery. So they allow kind of the theatrics of the one, yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's like thirty seconds of of complete rest. Okay, cool. And then a minute and a half pass, and it's just let's dance. But the choreo is a bit easier. It's just yeah, it's calm. Let's play with the lights. You know, there's not much vocal things going on. It's just hyping the crowd up. Fine. Another minute pass, and we're transitioning now. Becky on starting to catch his breath. Bios catching his breath because they're about to blast again. Yeah. And then you give the thing is you give me this number next. Yeah, it's 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 where they have to be stable as. F- yeah, they're crazy. That's what I'm talking about. The, the vocal stability it really blows my mind. I, I obviously you hear a lot of the the hard breathing, but vocally speaking, it's just so stable. It's, it's so sign. grounded. It's wonderful. Yeah. Oh, so I think Kai is wearing wool. Please have some water. Yeah, please go pass out. <laughs> please. Give me a proof that you're human. Dude, it's just... <laughs> like, please. <laughs> What it's another level, isn't it? Like I, that that's the thing. Sorry to interrupt, Bali, but No no no, go ahead. I don't even know what's happening in my head. But you can look at this in so many uh, points of view. And I do apologize because maybe they sound saturated. I think probably the sound was saturating there. I don't know if you guys could hear us or if you could hear that. Too I'm much. so sorry, it was amazing. Um, but um the they could look at this in two different perspectives, right? Number one is like as performance, right? Because we we dream and I think a lot of people that also watch this type of stuff like the concerts and maybe go to these concerts also have dreams for themselves so one day being in those positions in concerts and and they're singing for crowds so that magnitude but it's like when you look at things like that you'd realize like oh fuck like we have there's so many lessons to be learned mm-hmm. you know what I mean so many and 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 then you look at the second perspective it's like when you see a pro athlete up close mm-hmm. you know it's like if, even if you're a full-time athlete or even if you're a pro yourself and you look at the greatest of the greatest you're like, oh, okay. Ooh. There's like another level, you know. There's and, and I'm several levels yet to get there. So it's yeah, like yeah. an exciting journey, but it's also like that realization of like, oh, Jesus Christ, there's a the the the, the steps are long. <laughs> I still have to climb them. It's, it's not only the show itself; it's the preparation. Yeah, yeah that's absolutely. the thing. Like that. Uh, this is the other second perspective, right? Which is, I feel the reason why because they, I, I think EXO are truly an anomaly, like. Mm especially because of their vocal capability and their vocal quality throughout the whole thing, you know? So that that's that's not normal. That's an anomaly, right? So let's give credit that to them being aliens. Okay, fine. But just just the Basically. concert structure itself and the, the behind-the-scenes work and the te- te- technical team behind it and, and the label work behind it, I feel that industry itself is like three steps above most industry concerts that we see here in the western absolutely, world absolutely i totally agree with that and that's mm-hmm. why I, i've always said ever since we find out like the korean entertainment industry mm-hmm. is like there are so many lessons to be learned that's l- unlike anything i've ever seen here mm-hmm. you know and i follow the concert uh, uh, industry closely i really like it because it's exciting to see what chris brown's gonna come with next in his indigo performance that's a great one what lady gaga's gonna do next but they're never at this intensity for this longitude. Like, that's insane. Little difference that it... it, it I think Pink gets close, right? She was yeah, awesome Pink, at it. Pink, I was but say not yes. for that period of time well, in a consecutive to, basis. Efra, the, 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 the huge difference here is that you got nine performers True. on stage. 
there and the whole of the nine performers are the center of attention you don't have a soloist and that is a huge benefit That's good point you you cannot push a soloist <laughs> to a 14 minute long medley that is dance heavy and on ups and own. downs right they on go aerobic own. they go anaerobic they go aerobic they go you anaerobic. cannot you will have f- you will have no artists by the end of that tour yeah of course it, your your golden mind will be empty. Yeah, and the week after, right? they have to do is again. Absolutely. Like three days down the road. Yeah, yeah. It, and and the world you I'm won't have. The day after. Yeah, you won't have a world tour if if you expose your soloist to this type of like a uh, uh, demand. But we know it's but impossible. Yeah. It's impossible, but you have nine world class acts. You have nine, nine soloists essentially. Exactly. You got nine gold mines here yeah. that you could totally use to your advantage. Obviously, amping it up and aiding them as much as possible yeah. with the, the right use of backing tracks, with the right use of sound equipment, with the right use of lighting and, and uh, props and effects, and the, the right use of, of uh, c- crowd control and, and timing. You will have an outstanding performance. And I think that's what... Uh, the Korean music industry has taken advantage of. They've seen that they could amplify the experience by having more members in a group than uh, uh, than having a soloist because then in that way they can take advantage, not take advantage, but they can use all of those assets for a greater experience, right? Not only on the music videos, but on the live performances, and that's what gives them fifteen years of career, like Super Junior. You know, they, so ahead in that way, right? I mean, absolutely, they're about to hit ten years, ten ten years and, in in the industry. And if it wasn't for the mili- huge. for the military responsibilities that they had, which I also I also see a benefit in that to some extent, right? Me too. Take him off the idol life for a bit, mm-hmm. you know. Make him be normal for a bit, you know, yeah. do whatever, be in the military, do this, do that. It's difficult. You don't have to no longer do interviews 24-7. Mm-hmm. There might be some benefit to that. Abstract yourself from that. Father and I were talking about that the other day. We were like, when you're when you're like famous, you would imagine like you can't go to the shopping mall to get a toothbrush in your flip-flops without people saying something about it. But we, our discussion was like, it might be there might be a lot of value in doing it even if you're famous, to go out in your flip-flops and maybe a spot in your face and you're not the best haircut because you're just human like everyone else, mm-hmm. you know? And the, and that keeps you grounded. Mm-hmm. So there might be... I, I, I've been thinking about it hard. Like, there might be some value in that because I also think none of these things are, like, by accident. I also you know? think that's I true. I think a lot of stuff is more structured than most people think. And, and I... Because I, the military respo- uh, uh, responsibility in Korea, it's... Uh, it's from when you turn 18 until you're 30. And when you're 30, this is the last year. That otherwise, it's compulsory. By that time period, you must have done your military Wait, service. How, how old is the old? So, um, I don't know. 28, 29. Because it just came out of it, didn't it? Yeah. So uh, my question, obviously, this is an obvious, really important aspect in Korea, right? So why don't they make them do it before they, they debut? That's my question. And then I know, now I understand that it's probably best. They, need, they need, yeah, they need, they need a break after. He's 28. Know? Yeah, 28. So yeah. I, yeah, I think, I think it's valuable for that, for that reason. But again, I'm very cultural, ign- culturally ignorant when it comes to Korea and, and their costumes and stuff. So. And Chaniel's 28 and he's just gone off, right? Yeah. He's just, I think he's just gone off. Or about to. About, because he yeah, just yeah. did that thing, Bird Box, right? Mm-hmm. No, <laughs> the box, oh, sorry, the Bird Box. box. <laughs> okay. What? Anyways, that was freaking wild, though. I think what an experience. They're, they're all twenty eight plus, this except for Sehan. Sehan's the youngest. Was in Japan. Yeah, this Japan, concert yeah. was in Japan. Dude, I just don't. It's like it's insane. It's like everything you want on steroids. <laughs> like, literally, it's, literally, it's, it's like, a festival. It's the club. Is 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 the vocal performance? Is the concert and all I, in one? I beg someone if it, if you know what kind of like training regime these guys have like just fitness wise i've been trying to look for this for it's, like a year it's I can't very find no it's very hermet- hermetic i yeah. want to know diet i want to know fitness training i want to know supplements i was I gonna say i want to know what, what they're drinking what they're taking i want to know if they, like I, I i think it wouldn't be crazy to think they do iv drips after the concerts because before, the next as well before mm-hmm. yeah because the day after i think they have another one yes 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 
So it's like, how the, how, what? Hydration is a huge, especially vocally speaking, you need to be so hydrated. <laughs> to, to perform at that, uh, to that level. Also, imagine, 100%. imagine it in the ladies' world, like in the girls, in the girls' uh, uh, industry. Uh, in, no, in the, in the girl bands, right? Yeah. It's like some of them have to, like a very strict diet because they have to keep an, an eye on obviously like weight, mm -hmm. uh, energy levels, uh, um, yeah, what performance. Do they take? So it's like, what the, f what are you eating? Like, what yeah, are the supplements? Yeah. What are, what is the, the, your recovery like what is you know what i mean i'm really interested on that Me side too. I, we got a little of, like stre stretching do they do before and after what what's the vocal cool down i would love to know that what you know what yeah what do they like to eat before what do they like to eat after are they really this hermetic about it i'd imagine they are they are very um, much yeah the recovery processes mm -hmm. do, you, do you do cryo do you do uh sauna do you do uh, like what, what is out, it? because they're essentially athletes they're world-class athletes at 100%. this point you know what I mean? And like, they have to take care to to such minuscule muscles, the ones inside your larynx. So they already have a very, I would imagine that you 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 need to take care of the the larynx in such specific ways, and it's different different for everybody. So what what are the pros, what are the vocal warm ups? What are the vocal cool downs? What what do they do the day after? Is such a high or the seconds after? Right? Because after a concert like that, you're jacked. All right, your adrenaline is running high after you finish. Lactic acid is packed everywhere. Exactly, you gotta jump around. Like I'm sure these guys don't sleep after concerts like this, right? Most likely not. And then you have a concert the day after or a few days after. Party so time. What? How? How does that all happen? I, I would love to. Yeah, and you know, I'd love, love to talk to, to like someone like from Super Junior's team or something like that. <laughs> yes. Yeah, because they've been doing it for like 15, 15 years. 15 years. Really high intensity concerts. And they too. and like they could do another 10 really. They, yeah. They're 40, but they look like they're 22. No, no, they're, they're not. Some of them? No. Yeah, they're right. like. No. Mid 30s? Really? Yeah. Isn't it uh, sure she won? He's going to hit 40, isn't he? Is he? Yeah. Oh my God. No way. Oh, he's so hot. <laughs> Honestly, though, he hasn't changed in the last 15 years. <laughs> oh, he's, thir <laughs> he's 34. Sorry, it's Hicho. He's going to. And Lee Tuck. They're going to hit 40. He like. Sorry, e mm -hmm. like they're 37 at the moment. Oh, so they're, okay. they're pushing 40. That's and they look like they're 23. Literally, <laughs> dude, they look so good. What is their lifestyle? <laughs> she won is 34. Oh my God, fantastic. Anyways, uh, if you've got any more brilliant, wonderful, mind-blowing performances from anyone in the industry, please let us know and we'll totally check it out. Absolutely. I do remember you can support the podcast and reactions like this. Uh, by getting your merchandise in Feature Friday store. And also do remember that we did a Ghost Generation special. So if you'd like to uh, ask to, if you'd like to hear our thoughts on like the, another SM band that, uh, yeah, that also does these amazing performances, do check it out. <laughs> yeah.